Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey, and in this video we're going to create a quest arrow pointer that will point to a location in our world. Let's get started. So I have my scene here, I have my player character, and if I go over here to the right, I have a tent. Let's say this is some type of open world game, and we have a quest active telling us to go to this tent. We want to display an arrow in our UI showing the direction to the tent when the tent is off screen and have it placed on top of the tent when it is on screen. Alright, so let's start off by making our UI arrow. Let's go into the canvas in here and make a new game object. Name it Window Quest Pointer. Let's expand it to occupy everything. So there you go. Okay, inside let's make another game object. Name it Pointer. Let's add a image component and set the width and height to 60 and 60 and give it the arrow sprite. So this is a sprite that will be rotated and positioned pointing towards our tent. All right, so now let's make our script, make a new C -sharp script and name it window quest pointer. So in here, let's make a member variable. So a private vector three target position and on our private void awake, Let's set the target position to our tent position, which in this case is set on 245. Let's also grab a reference to the rect transform for our pointer, pointer rect transform, and let's grab it down here. So now let's first just display the direction. So we're going to go into our private void update. And for direction, we need the two positions. So a vector three for the two position, which will be our target position, and a vector three to our from position, which we will use as the camera position. So going to camera.main.transform.position. Let's reset the from position.z to zero and calculate the dir, which is two minus from dot normalize. All right, so this is our direction vector. Now I'm going to go into the using code monkey dot utils, which as always you can grab for free from unitycodemonkey.com. And in here in the utils class, in here I have get angle from vector float, which converts a vector three direction into a angle. So float angle equals this. And then I'm going to go into the pointer right transform and set the local Euler angles to zero, zero, and angle. All right, let's test and we should see the arrow pointing towards our tent. Yep, there it is. The arrow seems to be pointing that direction and if I move, yep, you can see that it's pointing down based on where the camera is. Okay, great. So now let's move the arrow towards the tent position instead of being placed in a random position on the screen. First of all, let's test if the tent is on screen or not. So in order to do that, let's make a vector three for the target position screen point. And it's going to be based on the camera.main and do a world to screen point of our target position, which is a position on the world. Let's set a Boolean for is off screen. And essentially, we can take the screen point and if the X is under zero, then it's off screen to the left. If the X is bigger than screen dot width, then it's to the right. If the Y is under zero, then it's below. And if the Y is bigger than screen dot height, then it's above. Okay. So just for testing, let's do a debug dot log, but is off screen and let's also display our screen point. Okay, let's test. Okay, you can see the log in there. You can see that it's true that it is off screen and as I move that won't become false as I get, yep, there you go. When it is on screen, it's false. When it's outside, it's true because it is off screen. Okay, good. So now in here, if it is off screen, then we want to shift the arrow towards the edge of our screen. So in here, let's make a vector three and call it a uh, capped target screen position. And it's going to be based on the target screen position. So in here, let's just cap it to make sure that it's always on the screen. So if it's under zero, let's set it to zero and so on.
All right, so now we have a capped screen position. We need to convert this into our UI position. So in order to do that, let's go up here, make a private camera and call it the UI camera. And we're going to make this a serialized field so we can set it in the editor. So we're going to go into the UI camera dot screen to world point of the cap target position. And this will be a vector three for our pointer world position. Then I take the rec transform and set the position to this. And just to make sure we don't have issues with Z offsets being different between the cameras, let's just set the local position to itself with an empty Z. Okay, so let's test and the arrow should now be shifted towards the edge pointing towards the tent, but it should never be off screen. All right, there it is. The arrow is on screen and it's correctly updating and pointing towards the tent. There you go, the tent should be right above me and when I move up, yep, there it is. Okay, great. So right now the arrow is hugging the edge of the screen, so let's add a border to our arrow calculations. So in here, let's start off by making a float, name it border size and give it 100F. And in here on our calculation, instead of being under zero, we're going to test under the border size. And when we're increasing, it's the width minus the border size. Same thing for the height and apply to all the others. Okay, so now the arrow should be pointing and moving, but it should not hug the exact edge of our screen. Okay, there it is, it's pointing, and as you can see, it's not at the edge of the screen. This way, the arrow is much more visible. Yep, there it is. Okay, great. So, now that we have the arrow pointing, let's turn the arrow into a cross when the tent position is on our screen. So in here, this is the code if it is off screen, and let's make our code when it is on screen. Okay, so in here, let's place our pointer rack transform on the target position, which we're going to convert into a world position on this UI camera. So copy this in there, and just like that, it should show up exactly on top of our tent. Okay, there it is, there's the arrow, you can see it has a border, and when I get close, it stays exactly on top. Okay, great. Now let's change that sprite when it is on screen. So in our code here, let's start off by making some serialized fields for a sprite, for the arrow sprite, and another one for the cross sprite. In here, let's store a reference to our pointer image, which is part of the unity engine.ui. So go down here and grab the image component. Okay, and down here, if it is off screen, let's set the sprite to the arrow sprite. If it is not off screen, so it is on screen, let's display as a cross sprite. Okay, all right, there's the arrow pointing, and when it gets on screen, it converts into a cross. Great. Now let's just remove the rotation from the cross, since that is probably not what you want to do, so. So in here, let's copy this into a different function. So make private void and call it rotate pointer towards target position. And we're going to call it only when it is off screen. When it is on screen, let's set the local Euler angles to vector 3.0. So there's the arrow and when it's on screen, turns into a cross, and back into the arrow, back into the cross. Okay, great. It's no longer rotating exactly as we want. Now let's make our class able to receive a target position instead of setting it up here on awake. So let's make some show and hide functions. Down here, let's first make the public void hide, and on hide, we're simply going to do game object dot set active to false, and a public void show, which we're going to set the active back to true so that it's visible, and we're going to receive a vector three for our target position. Up here, let's remove this and call hide by default. And down here, let's set the this dot target position equals this target position. All right, so now in here, let's make a script for our game handler that will set the target that we want. Make a new C sharp script, call it game handler. In here, remove all this, make a private void start and in here, we're going to have a serialized field for a private window quest pointer, window quest pointer. 
and on start we're going to call the show function and we're going to give it the same as before okay so right now it should be working exactly the same as previously so there I am there's the arrow and when it gets on screen it converts into a cross okay great everything's working the same now let's test swapping out the arrow during runtime so in here I'm going to go into the using the code monkey.utils in order to create a function updater just so we can test this a function updater triggers a action every frame so this is the action and in here let's make a int state set it to zero and here do a switch on our state and k0 we're simply going to test if camera dot main dot transform dot position do a vector 3 dot distance towards our 245 and if that is under let's say 50f then we're going to swap into the next one state equals one and let's show a different position so let's show a position under that one so let's say minus 100 and k state one we're going to test on this position and if it is let's just hide our pointer Okay, so we have in here just a basic state machine just so we can test if we can correctly swap our arrows during runtime. So I'm creating a function updater which is going to trigger this function on every update and we're going to start off with a pointer towards this position. We're going to test if we are near this position, within 50 of this position. If so, let's swap the state to 1 and show an arrow on a different position, so under that one. Then we're going to test again if we are close to that new position. If so, let's just hide and be done with it. Okay, so let's test that behavior and make sure that everything's working correctly. Okay, here I am. The arrow is pointing in the exact same direction. And as I get close, boom, there you go. The arrow swapped position. And now when I get close to that second position, as soon as I get close, the arrow should hide. Go and boom, it's gone. Great. Yep, there it is. So there you have it. We have created a UI arrow that we can use to display direction towards a position in our game. You can use this to direct the player towards a target quest location. In the next video, we're going to add support for multiple arrows. As always, you can download the project files and utilities from unitycodemonkey.com. If you have any questions, post them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you next time.